Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am here in the Animal Crossing game today. I am absolutely obsessed with this game. My brother and I started playing it on his Switch and I loved it so much he bought me my own Switch for my birthday. So this island is still new. I've only been working on it for about 22 days, which is not that long in the world of Animal Crossing. So even though I do have a five-star island, I have spent 300 hours playing on this island. There's still a lot of work to be done. But I thought that it might be something we could do together. So today I'm just going to show you what the island looks like now, kind of what my plans are, and then if y'all are interested, I figured I could show you guys when I'm decorating certain areas, you can help me come up with ideas, and it'll just be another fun little thing we do on my channel. So today we're starting at the airport. I have an orange airport with all the things that means and here is my entryway. Get ready for some waterfalls, y'all. It's loud. But just look at the butterflies overhead and imagine what it will be when eventually I get every single butterfly from Flick. Judy, what are you doing? Do you see this outfit Judy has? Sherb gave her that tank top and it's hideous and she insists on wearing it everywhere. So when you come to the right, we have, there we go, the Able Sisters. I actually just got this little garden flower wagon DIY yesterday and started working on this. This is our next project, you guys. So eventually, I think I'm going to put a little fence here and put a few more outfits. I just tossed up this mannequin to kind of get an idea for how it looked and if I liked the light posts or not. Jury's still out, but we will see. So I think this peach tree will leave and we'll have the path come up. We have our little courtyard here with resident services on the left and Nook's Franny on the right. As you can see, it doesn't want me to look up. Nook's Cranny is still not expanded because I've been playing for 30 days, but eventually it will be, and then we will extend it out as well. So let's go ahead and go down. This is Sherb's house and Flora's house on the right cute little pink house. I love it. Sure, the little goat boy actually has an adorable lawnmower that matches his house. And I often find the two of them sitting out here next to the waterfalls. So this beach is pretty bare. There's Beardo. He needs to leave. We hate him. This beach doesn't really have anything sharp. Okay, we interrupt this episode of Betsy's first Animal Crossing tour to catch a shark. Imagine if I didn't catch the shark. And for once, it's not a sucker fish. So excited. I do have Flamingo Beach I'll show you up top and I think it is going to be sitting on the life preserver. Okay well we don't like you Beardo but that's pretty adorable. 
That's pretty cute. No one cute thing he's ever done. I think we're going to move Flamingo Beach down here next to Flora's house. In the meantime, before we started the island tour, I should have showed you the map. So my island is called Neverland. At the moment, it has me and my mama, but eventually I am going to have a house, two more houses. Um, they're just not built yet. My villagers are Sherb, Marcy, Judy, who I love. I know there's a bit of a hype around Judy. I just love her to me. She's like a Lisa Frank being a baby of my childhood all wrapped into one. Beardo, who will be leaving as quickly as possible for Melba. Diana, Meringue, the cute Flora, Agnes, who came from my brother's island, Marina, and Gail. I just love all of my villagers. It took quite a while to get all of them exactly who I wanted, and Beardo is the last one, but so far, so good. All right, back to the tour. So that was the right side. If we come up here, we see my flower fields. This is one of two flower fields, and I hate that it's here because my flyover for anyone who comes to visit starts in this flower field. But I'm still breeding all the flowers and I need the space. Then you can see behind me, Moon Ridge, where my orchard is. I love this area. It's Moon Ridge because this is Judy's house. She's celestial, so she has to have all the moons, all the star pieces. I just love it. Here's Flamingo Beach. So this is what's going to move down near Flora's house. And then I'll need a different idea for up here on the rocks where the flamingos live. I saw somebody put a bunch of flamingos out online and I loved it. So it's not going to be identical. I'm going to have a few diner pieces with them for a little cafe. That should be really cute. Here's Marina's house. Looks like she's home. And when you go up top here, we've got all my pretty flowers. Decorating with a lot of pinks and whites. Though I'm still growing them, so it's going to be a while. And here's the top of Moon Ridge, which is my orchard. So, so far, none of my animals have come up here to sit, but I'm hoping that eventually they will. We'll find out. Might be too far. We've got our little signpost, little hammock. Have a cute little area up here eventually. And that's the whole orchard. It's pretty small compared to some people's orchards. My brother's orchard is huge. So when we come back down, beside the flower field is my house, which I love. I still haven't paid it all off. I have to get the basement, but we will go in there last and show you all the rooms. Can see across the bridge is the campsite. Go up there in a minute. And below that, of course, is resident services. And then we're going to the beginning. So on the left side of the waterfalls is this cute little picnic spot by the heart shaped pond. I needed something to fill this weird little area, and I thought this was a good solution. And I've seen quite a few of my villagers sitting out here enjoying the waterfalls, so that's a nice benefit. We have three villagers here. We have Marcy. There's Diana. Hi, Diana. Diana's house is right here, so it makes sense. She's hanging out. And Meringue. 
below their houses. Oh no. Is it over that TikTok? Oh, I thought it was over the TikTok. Judy and I have a falling out over the TikTok. I don't know, guys. What if she's giving Marina another one of these tank tops to be twins? I could have two of them. And I've heard that if you open gifts to see what they are, it makes the villagers angry. <laughs> we'll have to think about that. Oh, another bug. I'm still, I'm still building my museum, guys. I'm also, aw, oh, darn it. Building my bells. Anyways, here is Marcy hanging out at the cute little beachside aquarium. I had all of these sea creatures in my house and I was going to do a fish room and then I had saw someone do a little marine biology exhibit like this online and I thought I'd do something similar so that I could get all of these sea creatures outside of my house. <laughs> I do like how it looks. I'm not sure that these little beach chairs here go with it, but they're pink. And I have them. So for now, here they live. Alright guys, so when we go over the bridge here, you will see the best spot on my island. So for now, we will show you the museum. That has hardly anything going on. It's actually not bad. I had all of my stained glass up on the cliff, but you could not see it, so I took it down and moved it to the entrance. And instead, I put up these panels, and eventually I think I want to do a Valiant statue here, but I don't have one yet. Maybe some flowers and benches. Alright, are you ready for the best spot on the island? So across the bridge is going to be eventually the Mermaid Inn, but I haven't built it yet. But I have built the accompanying pieces. So this is Shell Beach, the private beach for Mermaid Inn. I just love how this turned out. How pretty is that? I'm pretty sure that's the screenshot right there. Um, and of course, attached to Mermaid Inn is the little pool and cabana area where you can relax with your friends. I assume that Mermaid Inn will be booked by a lot of wedding guests. So, when you're done getting ready for your wedding, you and all your guests can come right up here get married on the beach because why wouldn't you get married on the beach I diligently did the wedding event every single day in June on my brother's account so then I had to move everything over he did not want me to put the wedding items out on his island why there's a little reception table here and then behind the thing is the dance floor where you can party like a rock star with your friends and your family. And eventually there will be a grand piano here. It's going to be awesome. Behind the wedding area, you can sneak up here. There's Gail doing yoga without her clothes on. What is with you guys? You're embarrassing me. We wear real clothes on this island, I promise. We have our little bamboo forest. Eventually this will be a cute little zen garden of some kind. We've got Beardo, who has to leave 
even though he was sitting on a life preserver really cutely, he still has to leave. We have Gail, who's adorable but needs to put her clothes back on. And we have Agnes, who I love. She was one of my brother's starters, and when he was ready to get rid of her, she came to live on my island. Then we have the playground here for all the neighborhood kids. We've got our little teacups. It's not the colorway that I had on my island, so I had to get it from a friend. But it's okay. We've got our little springy rides. We've got the candy slides, and the space shuttle, which doesn't really go, but my brother gave it to me, so we pretend it goes. Then we have our flower field. This is where I'm breeding all the rest of my flowers. Eventually this field will be a rainbow flower field, and not a flower breeding field. But in the meantime, it's fine. All right, we're gonna run back to the entrance to the campground. We can get to it that way, but we're not gonna do that for the first time. The first time you need to see it the proper way, which is through the cafe entrance. So here's our little cafe. It has a courtyard. I'm gonna build this courtyard out, but for now it looks really pretty with the lighting. I love all the little pink and white and blue flowers. These are definitely my favorites. We've got the little cafe tables. And right here is where the cafe will go. It's going to be another player house, like Mermaid Inn. And here, across the diagonal road from my house, is the campground. Here, we've got these little heart stip skipping stones so that you can. Okay, CJ. Didn't know you were hiding behind the house. That's kind of creepy. So that you can get around easily. But let's go up to the campground. We've got a little spot by the waterfall to relax. Take a nap. Got my mom's tent. She loves to play. She has a house on my island and Will's, my brother, but she doesn't really like to play as a main person. She just likes to catch fish and bugs, so she just has a tent. Goes in my campground. Here's where you can camp if you have a visitor. You can sit here and eat dinner. You can have some with all your friends. We've even got a little wishing well up here. All the trees. And my favorite part. This spot looks so pretty at nighttime, you guys. I can't even I can't even explain it. And that's it. That's the whole island. So obviously we have a lot of work to do, but it's coming along. I really like the areas that I have. I just have so many ideas to build on them. But before we go, we'll look at my house and I'll show you the rooms I have done. So here's my living room. I've got my little seating area here where you can watch TV and play the switch. Play some Animal Crossing. Got the obligatory deer head sculpture over the door because I think it's the cutest one. Got my cute little table and chairs with the little water feature on the table that my brother made me. Of course, I've got a spot for my little kitty and my little puppy. I keep seeing villagers sit in that cat bed. And here, 
is my desk with my rocking horse, rocking sheep, and the print I got from the fish tournament. I want the octopus one, but I got a fish. It's fine. I'm not upset about it at all. I'll get the octopus one day. Here's my kitchen. It's probably the closest room I have to done. I like all of the pink items. I like how it works with the blue items. I love these floral swags. Got the little command center with my vacuum and a few wedding items that I thought looked really cute in here. Alright, so my bedroom is upstairs and it's fairly done, but my other two rooms need some work. So this is my craft room. So you guys know how much I love crafting, but right now it looks more like a sweatshop because I don't have enough stuff yet. One day, one day I'll have a fully functioning craft room. Until then, we just avoid this room. <laughs> and then, to the left here, we have my mermaid room. Because everyone has a mermaid room right now. It's the thing to do. Also, it's beautiful. Obviously, there are still DIYs I don't have, but it's coming along, and all of this will move to Mermaid Inn eventually. Oh, looks like my brother is coming in. Hello, brother. But Mermaid Inn is not built yet, so this remains in my house. Until Mermaid Inn is built, I'm going to keep it. Once Mermaid Inn is built, I don't know what to make this room, so I need some suggestions, y'all. What other rooms do you have in your house? I've been thinking about maybe a movie theater room, like an entertainment room, but I think that might go in the basement, so I don't know. All right, ready for my bedroom? If you thought I had the cute items, you were right. So here's my bedroom with another obligatory deer head because it's so cute. I've got the cute bed and all the cute furniture. I've got my little popcorn stand and the bubblegum machine because I love them. My brother gave me those as well. I've got a little seating area over here where I can chill and watch TV. Let's see what's on. Ooh, some good TV that looks very nice. And here is my closet. So if you come in here, you've got the wardrobe where you can change, you've got the vanity where you can get dressed, and I just found this cute little cheerleading uniform, the bow and sneakers that I had to put up as a nod to my cheerleading days. I haven't cheered in 10 years, but I still miss it. And that's it. That's my whole house, my whole island. I hope you guys liked this video. I've asked what my theme is. Somebody thought it was Disney themed, my whole island. Basically, my island is just stuff I like themed. Until next time. Bye, y'all.